The Alexandra Magistrates Court heard that Johannesburg English teacher Kirsten Kleitz was pregnant at the time of her death. The 34-year-old had been participating in a running event in the Santon area when she went missing. Wafana Mahungela, who maintains his innocence, is in court in connection with the murder. The 21-year-old varsity college student faces charges of premeditated murder, robbery and rape. News from Africa, Ziko Nachona has a story. Images of Mafana Mawungela on the 28th of October at a pyjama party in Alexandra Township. This is the night before English teacher Kirsten Clayton's body was found. On the morning of the 29th of October, the 21-year-old student traveled by taxi from Alexandra to Santon. He says he fell asleep in the taxi and got off at the wrong stop. This image shows Mawungela entering George Lee Park wearing a black top. While there, he says he visited a restaurant with the intention of one day bringing his girlfriend. He left the restaurant and on his way he stopped. He then noticed something covered in a sack, he says. He walked to it and covered it and said he realized it was a body of a woman. Maungela says he then turned the body over and checked if the person was breathing. Why were you checking the pulse? Why were you checking? I watch a lot of movies, so it's what they always do. And also hospitals and stuff. Like they always check for pulse if you're alive. So I did that. You, you check pulse or not? Like the pulse in the heartbeat. The heartbeat? Yeah. And what also? That's, I think that's it. And if they're breathing. Maungela says he was shocked when he realized that the body was lifeless. But now that he had touched it, he says that made him panic. Now, you have touched that body on several parts of it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What was your reaction to that? How did you react upon realizing that I have touched the body? I'm going to be the one that they blame for the death. Yes. So I and took the clothes. Uh, what did you do there after? I ran. No, you took the clothes first? Yeah. And right? then I ran, yeah. Then you ran. And uh, how did you take the clothes? Like I had to pull them off. Pull them off? Yeah. Now this Along the way, he had missed to taking off the black top he was wearing and wearing the blue top Clayt was wearing. He then shoved the rest of her clothes in a drain. Maungela got emotional when reading a report about how all this has affected his mother's health. But why not report the matter to the park or the police? Because, like, I didn't want to go to jail. Yeah. Like, like, now I just, like, I have a crime. Like, now I must go be charged, like, with murder. I must be the one that asked, being asked questions and all of that. Like, what am I going to say? I don't know anything. Yeah. That's why I didn't go to the police. So in other words, um, you didn't want to get into problems? Yeah, I didn't want to be involved. Maungela also told the court that he wanted to help Clayt, saying if she was alive, he would have helped her. During cross-examination, it was clear that the state was not convinced. Why would you do that? What was of interest to you? To help. To help? Did you help, sir? No. But you are saying, you just said to us that, the in, that your intention was to help. The only reason I didn't help is because I realized she's dead, that she passed away. Sir, you wanted to help? Yes. Okay, yeah, she's dead. Then what prevented you from proceeding with helping her? Because it was a skin color and it was a woman. Listen, I'll put it to you that a normal person will not act in the manner that we have acted. What is your comment? I agree. And then a bomb. On that day, as she was one of the people that were involved, she was pregnant. You will not dispute that. You don't know about I don't know. Afana okay. Maungela will continue to be cross-examined on Tuesday. His lawyer says he will be bringing two other witnesses in their bed for bail. For News from Africa on channel 405, I'm Zikana Kshona in Johannesburg.